Pour yourself a drink and put your PJs on. It's time to drink with All right, today we have uh, Shaman Sheik Sal. Uh, is it Afri- Afrikator or Shaman Sheik Sal? Okay. okay. Yeah. On Afri- Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? Yeah, it's at Shaman Sheik Style on okay. Instagram, and Afri Couture was our big fashion event that we just had. Oh, so that was the name of your event. Yeah, okay. but, but we are launching a brand, Afri Couture, um, that really like is more like a luxury brand. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's Very cool. down the line. But yeah. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know when it's going to launch? I or? have no idea. I'm I developing content right now for it. Very so, cool. Yeah. yeah. So today you're wearing a pantsuit? Is it this like cotton, like, jersey? I want to say it's, you know what, I didn't even, I have no idea what it is. As long as it's comfortable. It's, it's very this cool. This is the most comfortable romper that I had. That I looked, love it. Thank you. That looked somewhat like pajamas. I so. feel that. <laughs> I mean, in a sense, it kind of is. It's like the best uh, loungewear is outerwear kind of thing. I love the blue in it and oh, the stripes. You. It's very cool. Thank you. I have, um, sometimes I'll wear like a head wrap with it or... Yeah. These earrings that I have, my um, a fellow designer, Lita Hatley, she makes clothes for the soul. And she has these fringe. Sounds familiar. Because I, I always tag her in all my stuff. Is so. that um, also local? Uh, no, she's Bay Area brand. Ba- oh, very But cool. I, she was featured in Afri Couture. Very cool. Mm-hmm. I love and the I, collaborations. I always collaborate with her. And I actually have a lot of her pieces in Vintage Me. Oh, nice. Yeah. And the, where is Vintage Me? Vintage Me is 1040 Fulton. Very cool. Mm-hmm. In Fresno? Fresno. Fresno. Yeah, it's right kind of across the street from Vinny's. Oh, that's not too far. Yeah, it's like, I'm leaving the tower, but not really because Vintage Me is right there. Okay, cool. As you're, as you're passing by BBOs and the Babylon, there's mm-hmm. like a little club that used to be downstairs. Rest in peace, Babylon. Yeah. I always thought they would rebuild it. I wanted them to bring it back because it was great for reggae nights. Oh. And now there's nowhere for reggae nights. Someone should start that. Strummers, probably. I think we're looking into doing some island stuff. At Strummers? No, no, no. Oh. No, no. At the space I was telling you about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Because, uh, like, my dad is from Bermuda, so. Oh. Yeah, and then there's a lot of people who are islanders, and so we're, like, trying to collab to do little day parties or something like that, just to. That'd be really cool. Yeah, Does that uh, inspire you a lot, Bermuda? Um, I'm inspired by water and general. Water? Oh, yeah. I, feel I love that. culture yeah. in general. I love soca. I love um, reggae. I love dance hall. I love mm-hmm. reggaeton. Like, um, I would say more like reggae and reggae dance hall, though. Okay, like yeah. anything vivacious. I feel it. Yes, absolutely. And the water. Anything I feel sensual. It. That's what I love. Your brand. Oh my god! Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I was looking at the videos, and I actually saw one of your shows with. Um, I think. We have a model in common, a Daisy Okoli. So she's African American. Yeah. She was in one of your oh, shows. Oh, God, I've been saying her name wrong. I say everyone's name wrong. Um, there's another model I work with. Her name's Rachel, but I thought it was Raquel because it has an extra E in it. I was like, oh, God. I'm confused. I know. I'm always confused. I'm always tired. Um, but yeah, she's great to work with. I just worked yeah. with her and I'm hoping to shoot with her again, probably like within the next month, hopefully. Nice. She's very. Spirited. I love it. Yeah, she is. Yeah, it's good and when someone brings like a lot of energy to the shoot. Definitely. And she's yeah. gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. So ridiculously. Yeah. What's your experience like in the Fresno fashion scene? Um, I'm really new to the Fresno Fresno fashion scene. Mm-hmm. I'm a teacher by trade. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I've teach? been English teacher. Oh, I've been favorite. an English teacher. This will be 20 years this year. Yeah. So you don't even look old enough. Oh, for, yeah, yeah. Not at all. Yeah. I'm like in my 40s. <laughs> so yeah fashion what? is like a yeah fashion is like a second career but always has been my passion I've always kind of shown up as myself even when I was in my classroom mm-hmm. and just even just moving in the community people always would be like oh I like your style or where'd you get that and whatever and that's actually what inspired the brand is because um, I always have to go to the Bay Area to find ethnic apparel mm-hmm. and pieces that I think speak to my identity And I'm really big into reclamation fashion, both in the sense of like it being upcycled and in the sense of reclaiming like my ethnic heritage. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's hard to find that in Fresno. So I created a lane for people to be able to find that um, so they don't have to go online and look for it. I love it. Yeah. Or go out of town and look for it. That's powerful. Thank you. Yeah, that's I mean. It leaves me speechless because reclaiming, I feel that because I feel like. 
reclaiming Chola culture or yeah. like anything Latina or remotely mm-hmm. Native American is mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. Because it usually gets watered down. Yeah. And that's usually what's the most available version is something like in Forever 21 mm-hmm. or H&M. Target, unfortunately, definitely Walmart, all watered down versions of like really beautiful cultural pieces. Right. And then it's not as beautiful. Yeah. But it's cheap. I love it. And I love the cheap stuff too, because the tribal patterns are always easy to find and oh, accessible. Yeah. The tribal inspired patterns, but I've also been like really connected to African fabric from Africa. Mm-hmm. And so I like have friends who go, cousins who go. Um, I have somebody who's there and they send fabric. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get like back to that actual the root. Afri- yeah, African yeah, fabrics. I feel and, that. But with Shaman Chic, we do have indigenous pieces there as well of all kinds. But yeah. Do you create the things yourself or do you kind of source them? All do you have someone of it, else make them? All of it is that's like a little bit of everything. You okay. know, there are pieces Very that cool. I have reclaimed, there are pieces that other people have reclaimed, there are pieces that I've curated from just my travels. There are pieces that are um other designers who I have just gone wholesale with them and then brought them in. And then I always give them just the credit and maybe like a, um, um, I give them, I'm sorry, uh, tags, you know, like business oh, cards. Yeah. And yeah. Things like that. So people can make the Accreditation. connection. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Mm-hmm. That reminds me of, um, it's a native American designer. It's Bethany Yellowtail. Mm. She, uh, she went to fashion school. Mm-hmm. She started this whole website and she had her, core line but then she um she had other people come in and she calls it like the collective nice i think it's really cool when people do that because then you get to not just support one person but like several people yeah it's the same idea and you're Uh just supporting actual artisans yeah that's really cool yeah yeah building awareness to other people's brands because Mm -hmm. you know obviously like you have one lens but then someone else's lens might be completely different but complementary to yours yeah and so and that's what with africo tour and that's why we're thinking about like moving that into a whole line or an additional brand because people were like where do we get the items from africo tour there were five designers you Mm -hmm. know and everybody's lens was different everyone's collection was different and you know, then now they're gone. So yeah. like, I, I liked what I saw on the runway. Where do I get that? I feel that's, oh, that's so good. I want to see more of that. Yeah. And I really hope you go forward with that yeah. super strong. Thanks. And I can't wait to hear where you're having it. Thanks. And thanks. it's not just a vintage me, right? Well, there's two locations with okay. vintage me. So, oh. um, yeah. And then, so there I have like my vintage, my mm. ethnic, my original pieces. And then also the collab pieces are also there. So, oh, that's yeah. exciting. but I also pop up in places. So even though I have my inventory like stationary there, so it's accessible, I still travel with my, my pieces as well. Oh, very good. Yeah. Do you have any pop-ups coming up anytime soon? I do. Or? I'm popping up tomorrow at Full Circle Brewery. Full Circle? Yeah. There's a, um, it's called Organic. I don't know if, I don't think I is can it br- Is the brewery or the new little club that they opened? Full Circle Brewery. It's, no, like it's Full Circle Brewery. Okay. But so they're having an on event. tower. Right. No, it's like downtown. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, they're having an event, and so I'm vending at that event. Very cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. they're very good at supporting like a lot of local, local businesses and the stuff. Local businesses. It's just a little hairy around there. Yeah. Just a little bit. I know. But, um, I and know. it's hard to get foot traffic down there too. I know. Yeah. I've experienced that. This will be my first time vending at an event there. Well, they, all the events I've been to are pretty full. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is a hip hop event, I think. So. Oh. Cool. Yeah, it's like a uh, conscious hip hop. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm not familiar with it. Your summer series. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know if I can cuss because the, the title has a cuss word in it. But it's oh, no, cuss. Go organic ahead. as fuck is what it's called. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's their the summer. Best. That's their summer series. And I'll be there. Vending. So. Organic as fuck. Yeah. That'd be me as a waitress just like talking about the, the meals. Oh, it's organic as fuck. <laughs> All right. Hella free range. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> that's me at work yeah. for now. Um. Wow, that's really cool. Do you have any uh, favorite models or photographers around town? Or Oh, wow. That's a tough one. I've worked with a lot of different mm-hmm. photographers. I really like Joshua Slack. Um, Do Jay you know Slack, Instagram? Jay Slack. I want to say it's at Jay Slack Images. Um, and my best friend, Roberto Rico Media, even though he's not shooting as much as he used to. That sounds familiar. Does he do a lot of photo mobs? I don't think 
So I think he's working on a degree right now. So he's kind of been off the scene. But um, all my early work on my, if you deep dive, I haven't actually been on Oh, this. I deep dived. Yeah. Okay. So like I my, was looking through it. I was like, oh, this. Yeah. The early, she looks so good. <laughs> the early stuff is Roberto Rico. Mm -hmm. The most recent stuff is my husband. So oh, really yeah, cool. like there's a piece where um, we're paying homage to like kind of sun goddesses. And um, I think it's a little bit like, slavery it gives me like a ancestor vibe a little mm -hmm. bit and it, i have this really tall turban on i don't know oh, and he fun. did that one um so most of the newer photos are him it's very cool yeah Is if you don't instagram no he's not that's, no? i never photo credit because he's like he's not on it he's not on social media at all he's oh. yeah so and he doesn't do it that's as refreshing a, yeah he yeah. doesn't do it as a business he really just does it to support me and he's getting really good at so <laughs> he's my favorite <laughs> he'll be that's mad so if good. i didn't say that he actually, you know what? Quick plug. So he did this the cover. What is the? It's Ashe. Ashe. And where can this people is, buy this? This is actually we just sold out, and oh. we just ordered a hundred new pieces. Okay. And um, somebody did a really cool review. This is my daughter right here. But this is the my nonprofit Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. And it seems I was getting tagged as like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. So yeah. if you saw Africa Tour, all the models were from the Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. Very cool. And that actual event is a fundraiser for the Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. So yeah. So even like these, I styled this cover. So all these pieces are from Shaman Chic. Oh, I love it. I love the jumpsuit with the turban. The, Thank you. Is that orange? Oh, it's so it's like a reddish. And I've changed this belt out. Now it's like an ethnic pattern. The belt's an ethnic pattern. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I love a busy belt. Yeah. But see, this is what I'm talking about, like the tribal inspired stuff that's mm -hmm. easy to find. And I, I, as a stylist, I always have those in there. But um, I want to show you like a, a really cool picture then. So I really like this piece right here. Do you mind describing it to people who are sure. only getting the audio? Okay, yeah. So this is a really, it's a melanated 11-year-old girl. And she's got Africa earrings on with fists inside of them. Mm. And um, it's just like a really rich tonal, um, pretty much rich tonal colors, neutral colors on her face. But And she just, the article is skin deep. Mm -hmm. So what she's talking about is beyond the racial stereotypes to the profound truth about black women. And it's really powerful because she's 11. And the mm -hmm. whole magazine is filled with articles like that. Like there's another one, learning to love your beautiful mess. And then the model is in front of a trash pile, but she's like very glamorous, but in front of, you know, a trash pile. And so the girls are speaking their inner wisdom and their inner truth. And um, what I was about to say was somebody gave a really cool review she does this thing called self love, self love Sunday. I think she's at Sid on Instagram. I can't remember her the rest of her handle, mm -hmm. but she's just talking about how inspired she was by this article from this unexpected source, like a young girl who's just writing about, hey, accept yourself exactly how you are, even if it's a mess, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. And so yeah, so that's like the kind of the work we do with the nonprofit. Um, Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. So I brought this for you. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I brought that oh, I for love you. It. Check it out. The it's articles now. are, Ashe uh, is a Yoruba word for the, um, it means the creative power or the the dynamic energy to produce. Um, and so, yeah. So when people say Ashe, uh, it's like saying, so let it happen or so let it, like make it happen, make it manifest, Ashe. Uh, that's beautiful. Yeah. You'll oh see like God. people in crowds or groups of people and somebody says something that resonates and people will go ashe and nod their head. Um, oh, kind of like, yeah. It's like saying, yeah. Like, that or, sounds so much better though. Instead mm -hmm. of like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 50 A's. Or I missed it. I get it now. Yes. yes. Yeah. But it's not supposed to be like multiple S's, it's just multiple A's. Yeah. When does the next it's... issue come out? Can you oh, subscribe to this? What's you can on? subscribe. We have not figured that out yet, but we are getting a lot of questions about that. Mm -hmm. The special edition is coming out in February, and we are Ooh. going to be talking about the value of the African American female body in America, like how America values the African American female body. And we want people to have questions about what that means, like value and value and body you have know you those thought two about doing like an open discussion board do you guys have a website for we it? have a web not for ashe we no. have a fresno black girl magic project website okay. the project's about a year old so we're kind of still in the startup phases but we are really really excited about our special edition in february we're releasing it so um yeah i'll keep you posted on that and oh my god this is great thank you 
I'm so stoked. Please come out with something else like next week. <laughs> We're I'm working here. on oh, it. Lemonade. Yes, lemonade. There I you love go. It. Yeah. Okay. That's an acronym when life gives you lemons, she tells you what to do. So take a shot of tequila. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nah. Oh, this is nice. Thanks. I'm so stoked for this. Thanks. Thanks. I want more people to bring me gifts. Yes. At Fresno Black Girl Magic Project yeah. is on Instagram. I'll follow that like ASAP. Thanks. That's so exciting. Do you guys do anything else? Um, it's just the fashion or? we're working on a documentary called black girl unboxed Ooh. with digital century media so um yeah that should be we're really hoping that will be done by december because that's the deadline to submit to the pan-african film festival in la and oh, so cool. yeah if all goes well and they accept our our documentary then we want to take it and take the girls to the screening of it oh i love it you're really like really going for it Yes. That's, it's so good to see people with ambition here because I feel like a lot of people with ambition or like creativity who are inspired get outsourced. Yeah. And we just kind of get left with people yeah. who stay for their families. Like I love me. Fresno. <laughs> and like, I mean, look at you. You're doing your thing. I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. So I think there's a lot of creatives who are here and they're doing it. They're going for it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to find them through this podcast and mm-hmm. through other things like Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Events. I need to go to more events. Yeah. But. So great ways to connect. I met a lot of great people at... um the woman to woman. The, yeah, I fun. love the community there. Mm-hmm. It, even though it just started, mm-hmm. I hope it keeps going. So we yeah. just want to keep meeting good people, seeing good art, seeing mm-hmm. good performers. Yeah, you're going to... Really good exposure because I feel like Art Hop has really gotten stale and it's mm-hmm. more of a a party thing at this oh, point. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It feels that way. It feels more like um, instead of going out to patronize the artists, it's more like... Mingling. Yeah. 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 And that's really needed too. That's needed too. I think it just depends on where you go to. Because there's um mm-hmm. the Peerless building is like a pocket. And then there's another pocket that's on, I think it's Fulton. Uh, no, is it Fulton? We need like a trolley. There's Fulton. Um, and then there's Olive. Like Tower. The Tower has some. a little something. That gets a little still after a while too, though. It's a little yeah. stuffy. What do you think is time. missing? Newer artists who are more passionate instead of just kind of like trying to make art their personality, you know? Oh, that's interesting. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. No, I don't know. I've um, hmm. never been the most articulate person, especially after leaving like all my English classes. <laughs> Shout out to all English teachers. Thanks for killing it for me. Yeah. No, <laughs> all my English teachers inspired me. What, what really stopped me from going to school, I think, was turning 21 and just deciding to party. Mm-hmm. Which is not a good idea. That's a phase. Oh, it's been a long phase. Yeah, that's a um, needed phase. You learn a lot about yourself when you're hungover. and You're just waking up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hungover. Oh, okay. Well, then you're doing I'm great. I'm functional drunk. Yeah, you're doing great then. <laughs> <laughs> you're winning. I shouldn't have like. A whole you're in your twenties and you've never. Are you in your twenties and you've never yeah, been hungover? Twenty four for now. Yeah, oh. you're winning, girl. <laughs> it just doesn't sound fun to be hungover. So I eat um, seven jalapeno poppers from Jack in the Box and chug one of those big uh, Dickies barbecue. Have you been to Dickie's Barbecue? Yeah, I love Dickie's. Yeah, so they have those big yellow cups, right? Uh Uh-huh. Chuck two of those and take three Advil, and then I just knock out. And that's like your remedy? Mm Mm-hmm. So at the it end has of the, to be before you go to sleep. At the end of the and then the next day, you're good. I'm good to go. Show up to work four hours later. It's all good. What? I don't, I that's don't awful. Know. I, I don't, I don't plan that. on being hungover anytime soon. But <laughs> I don't plan on drinking that much anymore. <laughs> That is not, it's not good for your body. My skin should look a lot worse than it does. <laughs> that is not good. It does age you, I think. Like when you do a lot of drinking in your 20s, I hear, I hear that it ages you. I, I got I married really years. early, so I miss some, I miss most of that. I mean, is it really but. missing anything? Like, I feel like you could still go out the rest of your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. then you just bring your husband or maybe you guys just have like a girl's night. He has his guy's night. Yeah. Different bars. We we do. And we just find our, our tribe, our people. You know, like we have this place called the Chill Suite at Fulton 55. And we love that. And there's other couples there. and But there's also just people hanging out. And it's is great. Is that an event? Or yeah. Is, oh. yeah. Second and fourth Wednesdays. And it's called the Chill Suite. Oh, very cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And it's free. And there's a bomb taco truck there. So, yeah. You know what? There's a really good taco truck. What I really like going to is Motown. Mm, But I think they moved to Strummers recently. Motown? Motown. It's like Motown Nights. No, I never heard of that. I think Ronnie does the DJing most of the time. Some of the time. Most of the time, yeah. Ronnie? Yeah. I know who Ronnie is. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Check that out, too. I think everyone knows who Ronnie is. Ronnie. The native Earthian? Yeah, which is surprising because she's she's from Sanger. Oh, yeah? And I feel like... uh, I don't know. The only thing I really know about Sanger is Chuck Wagon. 
I don't know. I want to say Sanger banger whenever I hear the word Sanger. These people are always It's impulsive. I yeah. think that's even a filter on Snapchat. Is it? Yeah. It should be a hashtag. <laughs> We're on it. My are newest from- t-shirt, Sanger Banger. No, my dad's <laughs> from um, Sanger in Taiyu Valley. Oh, nice. Yeah. There is a really cool place we just shot uh, near Sanger, Centerville. Is that near Sanger? That's, yeah, I used to drive through there for work. Okay, there's this amazing sunflower maze, and we just did a shoot there. Yeah. And it was a midday oh, shoot. Oh, was it up it again? Was awful. But it was fun, but it was like too hot, way too hot. So my first dress shoot was supposed to be in the sunflower maze. Oh. And then Corey ended up driving over there and he's like, oh, it's mowed down. But it's not there What? Anymore. I was like, oh, my God. I started crying. Called my no, mom at 6 No, they're the like mature. The sunflowers well, are- it was last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, it could be then. Because the sunflowers are taller than me. I took one underneath one, like a huge- It looked like I was taking a shower under- Just sunflower. reshoot my whole dress collection again. There you go. <laughs> That's so stressful. Photo shoots stress me out. I don't really? know if photo shoots or um, runways stress me out more. I love both. I have both are a, good. I live for both, but like all the little things that could go wrong, I just think about the night before and I don't like sleep. Like what? Like what? Everything. Like uh, models not showing up, oh, that, uh, makeup that, that, going stressful. wrong, someone yeah. just having an attitude that day, oh. something not fitting right. Oh. I don't know. Weekly bloat, stuff like yeah. that. Or oh. me just being out of it. But your models are so it's body positive that like weekly bloat doesn't even read. Well, not the bloat part, but it's more about um, the measurements being off from the last time I measured them, which I relate to because depending on the time of the month, it's just like, are these jeans fitting? Is this bra fitting? Gotcha. Am I fitting in the car? Gotcha, gotcha, Should I just stay in bed? Yeah. (laughs) You know? Gotcha. I gotcha. It's too much. Being a woman is too much sometimes. That makes sense. (sighs) But it's so good. Sometimes. Yeah. It To me, it's like the culmination of all of this hard work. Mm -hmm. And I love those moments kind of like to what have been your favorite moments with fashion yes um for you personally my favorite moment was afri couture Mm -hmm. when at the end we did this african line dance and i grabbed the designers and i was like you guys come down and Mm -hmm. do the line dance with us and if you look at some of the videos you can see like the designers they have no clue what the line dance is but i was like just do what you feel and they just were like blending in so then it got so good to us that we did a second time except this time we started grabbing people from the audience oh i love it and they were dancing with us and like to me that and then just the the crowd like clapping along and i was like the participation the whole yes it wasn't stiff and formal like a regular runway show i was hate very, regular runways you know the whole like up and down stiff face kind of thing yeah i think that's why i like terry mugler a lot because i mm-hmm. feel like it's um more theatrical yeah everything's more fun and more camp yeah and i'm into that yeah, it has, yeah i mean it feels like life like yeah life. it doesn't feel mm-hmm. so exclusive mm-hmm. in like a bad way not in like a fun e-news kind of way do you know what i mean like it's it's i don't know like that excluding word excluding people oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah include it's more inclusive yeah there's so many people involved in fashion mm-hmm. the idea of like excluding people right just for the sake of your own ego just feels really that's something that is a yucky feeling like yeah. the whole ego i i spend a lot of time like just spiritually in the morning making sure i'm staying grounded in my purpose mm-hmm. and like filtering out the parts that aren't in service to like my higher self or in Mm -hmm. service to other people that's a really important balance to like have the spiritual side and then still doing your job and still doing your passion Mm -hmm. do you like carve out certain times of the day for that or does it just kind of like when you feel like you really need it early in the morning early in the morning i get a lot of like insight before i before i open my eyes oh wow yeah and i try to be really intentional about being grateful before i open my eyes instead of hashing out my day i start Mm -hmm. being grateful and then when I start my day, I'm a little bit more grounded. And then when I don't do that, when I start my day and I'm like, I got to do this, I got to do this. It's like I'm more harried and more like frantic. But like when I'm intentional before I open my eyes of like great gratefulness and like really sitting with the um, like just like the the gifts and the just the gratitude of the opportunities and things That's like beautiful. that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm so serious. That has helped me a lot because um, when you have a frenetic schedule and you're like always on the go and you're everywhere doing everything, 
I'm like, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I'm talking about me. Wait, I'm talking about me myself. through me. The yeah. universe brought you here to tell me. <laughs> I just slow the fuck down. Yeah. Well, just yeah. Like, taking those moments. You yeah. Know? Just taking those moments. And- oh, God, it's so hard. I feel like when I have a moment, I eat ramen or, and we'll watch like Sex and City or Girl Boss or like, I don't know, something metropolitan and fashion y. Yeah. And I feel like that's how I zone out. That's important too. I, I love wake those up so busy in the morning. Moments. And I need to do what you're doing. Just like take the the second to be grateful and just calm instead of just like, oh, God, get the coffee, run out the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I think we all have to have hustles mm-hmm. just to support a passion and just like a somewhat kind of work life balance. Yeah. Yeah. That's just too much. Yeah. It. Yeah, it is. But it's kind of it's kind of making your life full, you know? Yeah. Like when you look back and you're like, OK, this is the life I lived. This a is the life, life I chose. It was full. Yeah. I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm-hmm. I th- you're right. And there is a lot of power in like consciously recognizing that you did make the choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead I, of feeling like out of control, like, oh, but I have to do this, blah, blah, blah. I and mean, that, that part's that part's important, too. Like yeah. the, the things that we choose to do and say yes to mm-hmm. and the things that we it's hard to say no to things. Yeah. But like just really sitting more with the decisions that we make, like I'm going to do this like mm-hmm. today I'm coming here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be present with this person, you mm-hmm. know. I'm glad I came here. I'm glad you're yeah. here. And I want to find here. more designers and stylists. Mm-hmm. And, like, I feel like we should all help each other grow and help this community grow. Yeah. That's that's pretty much the point of this podcast, really. Yeah, yeah. And everything I do, mostly. I loved seeing all the skin. I love the the skin and the... Um, like you want to wear it or... Um, no, I'm just kidding. Like the well, the I just love sensual or? experiences oh, in general. Okay. So when I saw your line, I was like really enthralled with the skin. Oh, thank you. The skin and how everyone was cheering for the skin. Like everyone was like, mm-hmm. and you had all different body like body types. I tried to, and you had different ethnicity. It was like really diverse. All your models were really diverse. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just I can really love that and appreciate that about that is your the work. goal. But mm-hmm. a lot of times. I'll book more mm-hmm. diversity, but it's kind of just who shows up. I've I've always tried to get extra plus size models mm-hmm. and I get a few of them. Well, most of them actually just don't show up mm-hmm. or like um, I tried to be more inclusive of uh, Middle Eastern. Yes. And I think it's East Asia is the, the term. Right. More of them because uh-huh. I feel like they should be represented. I don't see a lot of them in all of my research mm-hmm. and all of my mm-hmm. catalog shopping. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. see a lot of that. That's it's true. kind of like a lot of like either white or like a very specific exotic mm-hmm. kind of Latina. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we should all be represented because we're all mm-hmm. shopping. Yes. You know I mean? Yes. And, and that's I- the thing I felt about your line. I was like, I could feel and hear and see people seeing their body. Mm-hmm. you know like oh here's the person who's a little got a little something right here you know yeah. like that's my body you know i love that and that's what i'm trying so, to do yeah i you really know? appreciate that and about I, your work. i, I kind of like putting um different silhouettes on different models because a lot of times they're like oh well, I'm, I'm not gonna look good in this mm-hmm. and a lot of models will tell me that when i'm shooting with them they're like oh geeks out right as opposed to just being like free about it because mm-hmm. i just i don't know I just haven't gotten used to them knocking around even around the house i'm just like oh yeah. Please relax. I like to free the girls. Like I'm very bohemian anyway. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, but so I'm I think as not. bohemian as I get is just constantly being barefoot. I feel yeah. like as much as I love shoes, I feel like they're um cages for my feet. Yeah. But I don't know if it's because they're like a size nine or mm-hmm. my feet are size nine too. Oh my god. We I should trade shoes. I think in general, like the feeling of the earth on your feet, like because mm-hmm. sometimes I'll even go barefoot outside, which is a little gross. Is uh, it a little? I don't know. Some people think it's gross. I I love it. Yeah, I but like feeling that, I not just like hot the, cement right now though, because it's yeah. like oh painful. Grass on my feet. I love grass, grass on my feet. Dirt, mm-hmm. rocks, sand, water, sand. Oh my god! You sand. know what has the best sand is um, Carmel. Oh, I haven't been to Carmel. You gotta go. I love Pisbo. Just put I your love feet. Avila. A lot of people from Fresno love Pismo and Avila, but you yeah. got to go a little bit north okay. to Carmel. It has okay. better sand. What? It's not as um, grainy. It's mm-hmm. softer. And mm. it just it gives you the best little pedicure for free. Really? That's so good. I'm going to have to check that out. You have to. My favorite thing is uh, when the shore, when you're like kind of on the shore and the water washes up over and the, the water is like really, yes. really cold, mm-hmm. which is different than Bermuda because the water is super warm there. So, 
That sounds so good right now. But then yeah. isn't the weather warm too? Yeah, it's, it's always humid. tropical. Yeah, it's tropical. I think, um, is Bermuda across from Honduras? I am. I'm trying to remember geography. I'm not I sure. It's definitely not Caribbean. <laughs> a lot of people think Bermuda is like a Caribbean island. It's not. Um, oh, I it, thought. So. It's more like Atlantic Atl- Ocean oh, area. Oh, like you're right. Over, I know a lot of times I'll fly out of Philly to get mm-hmm. there. So, yeah. On the East Coast. Just keep that going. is far. That's way further than I thought it was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. I need to look at globes more. I mm-hmm. went to um, Europe and I barely realized how close all the countries were. And I was like, oh, that's why you guys are always at war. Mm-hmm. Always they're on like, top of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they're just so close. And they have all these different. Conflicts. Yeah. yeah. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Africa. I have so many places I want to go. Just safe for it. Yep. Well, that's easy for me to say right now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, no, it's easy for anybody to do anything that they Mm -hmm. want if they are intentional about it. Like, put your mind to it. Yeah. Yeah. Really committing to saving. Saving. I think it's hard for me now because I'm like, oh, God, I got to pay back all that Europe stuff. But Mm -hmm. I think just go for it. Seeing how big the world is. Yeah, absolutely. It's wild. Yeah. How long plane rides are. Yeah. I would want to take a red eye or something and just knock out. Then you still have a lot of hours. <laughs> yeah. I think I left at night and then we arrived kind of in the afternoon and I slept, I think, five-ish hours. Mm-hmm. I spent three awake boarding and then two awake um, before I got off. And it was mm-hmm. that's probably the best thing you can do. Mm. Uh, but yeah, thank you for coming on. Absolutely. Where can we find you again? So I'm at Shaman Chic Style for my boutique. Mm-hmm. And as a stylist, I'm at Lila Kiyamsha. And uh, the magazine is at Fresno Black Girl Magic Project. Instagram. And I think... Do you have a Pinterest or anything? I don't have no? a Pinterest. Okay. I'm just really just getting into social media. I, I love Pinterest mm-hmm. for boards and everything. You should mm-hmm. definitely check it out. Oh, yes. I, I love it for inspiration, but I pro- don't personally have one. So, I call it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for having me. Of course. Best wishes to you. You're the sweetest. Uh, I love it. Gifts you. and best wishes. Uh, Ashe. Uh, yes. <laughs>